Uh, Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And every day at this time, OBMMI. They provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual rates. 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 Easy for me to say. Mm-hmm. Calculated from actual rates. And they don't tell us the APR points paid or points received. They just tell us the rates across 42% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. 30-year conforming, 7.779. That was pretty flat. 30-year jumbo, 8.021. 30-year FHA, 7.436. 30-year USDA, that's for the rural areas. Generally, no down payment, 7.596. That was up a bit. And the best loan on the market for those that earned it. The 30-year VA loan, 7.417. That one was down a bit. And let's take, oh, oh, I should say, if you want every morning as early as we can, business morning as early as we can, we do send out our commentary on the mortgage market. You go to rsrmarketminute.com, rsrmarketminute.com and subscribe. We'll get that off to you as early as we can every morning. Let's see what's happening today since the markets have opened. The S&P 500 is up 18.66. 10-year Treasury, pretty flat, 4.846. And the mortgage mark, the mortgage bonds, those are pretty flat as well. They're, they've done nothing today. What's driving all of this? That's why you tune into Ron Siegel Radio. Well, it's pretty simple. Words have consequences. We've been telling you there's been a large short interest in the 10-year treasury, what the heck does that mean? There's been a lot of the big money has been putting their bet, so to speak, on the fact that the bond price itself will go down, which means interest rate or the yield will go up. Well, one of the big wigs yesterday, Bill Ackman, said that he's covering that position. He's saying, quote, the economy is slowing faster than the data suggests, unquote. Where might you have heard that before? Surprise, surprise, surprise. So he's unwinding his position is what he's doing, which means he's buying the bond. When there's more buyers of the bond, the bond price goes up, the interest rate or yield goes down. Additionally, Bill Gross, he was the founder of PIMCO, said higher for longer is yesterday's mantra. That's a quote from him. He mentioned our regional bank carnage and the recent rise in auto delinquencies to long-term historical highs indicate the U.S. economy is slowing significantly. He's calling for a recession in the fourth quarter. Hmm, We're there now. Interesting. Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan said, frankly, the Fed has won the battle of the the American consumer. They are slowing down, and the question is, what happens next? All of these comments point to a slowdown in the economy and a potential recession, which would help the bond market and mortgage rates. As a result, they are positioning their investments for a drop in yields. Realtor.com rental index, median median asking rents fell 0.3 in September and are down 0.7% year over year. An influx of new multifamily units on the market drove prices down in September. The annual completion rate of multifamily buildings with five or more units increased 10.1% month over month and 15% year over year. This is in line with apartment lists showing that new rents are down 1.2% year over year. Remember, both of these reports track new rents and renewals are higher. The blended rental index reported by CoreLogic is showing that rents are up 2.9%. but That's much lower than what it's being represented in the CPI inflation reports. At 7.2%. It drives me mad. Catching up the shelter costs for the long lag. And CPI is really closer to 2.2%. Danielle Hale, chief economist for Realtor.com, said it's more economical to rent than to buy in nearly all major markets. Uh, Do we have to go through this again? Because all she does is look at cash on cash. She doesn't look at appreciation, depreciation. Uh, the wealth effect, none of that. 
amortization. You want to know which was true? We've got a buy versus rent analysis that we can do for you. That's the Mortgage the Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.